What's going on YouTube? GS9 right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak, especially on 14.6 and lower, and of course a Safari jailbreak. This video is brought to you by AppTrans, an application that allows you to transfer applications from your device to another or from Android to iOS. You can find it on the iMobi website and there is a free download available. Check it out in the links below. So as you probably know, a couple of days ago I made a video about Pon My, which is basically a work in progress WebKit jailbreak for 14.5 and 14.5. 5.1 created by R Ponage. Here they talk about how they use a WebKit exploit in order to be able to do this jailbreak directly from Safari without resigning and of course without IPA, without computers and so on. This kind of jailbreak is basically like the jailbreak.me where you had to go to the uh, jailbreak.me website and of course you press jailbreak and you would be jailbroken directly from the device. Well as it turns out a brand new exploit has been released which is also a WebKit exploit, this one in here. Now this one is not the same one that was used by our opponent in their tool here they use this one by this developer who said quote recently my first webkit bug is killed this bug is already patched on webkit trunk but alive on the stable version yet my exploit is here and this is basically the code that is being used by our opponent in their jailbreak that works from safari however a brand new exploit has been released as well for the same vulnerability theory said quote a few weeks ago we found an exploitable bug in webkit which was fixed before we could report it to app Apple. Interestingly, the latest iOS versions are still vulnerable. Since other exploits for this bug are public, we share our root cause analysis and exploit. And they posted this long write-up in here with all the code and all the bugs and of course everything that you need to know about the exploit, but they also posted the exploit itself. Now this is actually pretty interesting because they say in here, quote, our exploit working as of iOS 14.6 can be found here. So yes, iOS 14.6, the one that is currently the latest version available. As it turns out, this exploit that can be used for a WebKit jailbreak or a Safari jailbreak is actually compatible with 14.6 as well, which means that we can theoretically make a jailbreak that works on 14.6 directly from Safari once we have a kernel exploit as well. So the exploit that they posted is this file here called pawn.html and you can open it with you know any code editor and it looks like this. So you can see that the code is different, it's a different exploit compared to the one used by our pawnage, but it seems to be a little bit more refined. Find. So this is actually great because the one that our opponent uses says in here that is not really cleaned up So it may be a little bit dirty Which means that it may crash a little bit more or it may not be as accurate and stuff like that While this one here seems to be a little bit more clean So yes, we have a webkit exploit for iOS 14.6, 14.5.1, 14.5, 14.4.2, 14.4.1 14 and 14.4 So theoretically once we get a kernel exploit for any of those versions We would be able to create a jailbreak that that works directly from Safari and developer R Ponage from the Manticore team already started working on this and they are basically waiting for the kernel exploit to drop before creating the very first WebKit exploit jailbreak since iOS 10. So to talk a little bit more about the benefits of this kind of jailbreak, you don't really need a computer at all. You don't need to sign it, you don't need signing services, you just need to go to the website of the jailbreak, you press the jailbreak button directly on the website and you will be directly jailbroken on your device, which is actually quite great because that kind of jailbreak eliminates the need of a computer or of alt store or signing services and stuff like that so it's just you and your device now the write-up in here is pretty good it's pretty complete and it contains a lot of good information that you should definitely check out if you're interested in this kind of stuff but I definitely think that our opponent should look into this one and replace their exploit with the one from here because it seems to me that it's a little bit more clean so yeah what this means well in theory with such an exploit we would be able to update the uncovered jailbreak or the Torin jailbreak and so on to work directly from the browser you would go to uncover.dev and instead of download you would have jailbreak in here you would press jailbreak directly on your phone and you will be jailbroken in a matter of seconds so yeah those webkit vulnerabilities are pretty powerful and these two exploits the one from here and the one from here are definitely interesting and should be pretty useful for jailbreak purposes especially since they work on 14.6 as well so yeah that's basically it thank you for watching i am gs now till the next time subscribe to say updated and peace out.